Let's talk about the business cycle. The objective of this section is to examine the different phases in the typical business cycle. A nation's economy fluctuates rather than grows at a steady pace every year. These fluctuations are generally for, referred to as the business cycle. That is, the recurrence of periods of growth and recession in a nation's economic activity. Generally, the business cycle consists of four states, peak or prosperity, recession, trough, and recovery or expansion. During the peak period, the economy is at its highest point. Unemployment is low, total income is relatively high, and consumers are willing to buy products and services. Businesses often expand and offer new products and services. Generally, economists define a recession as two or more consecutive three-month periods of decline in a country's gross domestic product, or GDP. Unemployment rises during a recession, and total buying power declines. Economists define a depression as a severe recession that lasts longer than a recession. The third phase of the business cycle, the trough, of a recession or depression is the phase in which the nation's output and employment reach their lowest levels. To offset the effects of recession and depression, the federal government uses both monetary and fiscal policies. Monetary policies are the Federal Reserve's decisions that determine the size of the supply of money in the nation and the level of interest rates. The government can also use fiscal policy to influence the amount of savings and expenditures by altering the tax structure and changing the levels of government spending. Although the federal government collects about $3 trillion in annual revenues, the government often spends more than it receives, re resulting in the federal deficit. The total of all federal deficits is called the national debt. The last economic state is recovery. Recovery is the movement of the economy from depression or recession to prosperity. A greater demand for products and services results. 